Hi, I'm Kenneth Barron. I'm an intern right now with Syngenta. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be performing a sprayer evaluation. We have four tests we're gonna run. We're gonna check the pressure that the booms are getting. We're also gonna be doing a pattern check on the nozzles. Then we are going to double check the flow rates, which is gonna check their computers to make sure the computers are putting out the correct amount of water. And then we have some water sensitive paper, which is gonna show the sprayer's coverage relative to the nozzles they have selected to the amount of water they're putting out with the nozzles. In order to get these sprayers to run, with these computers, while it's not moving, you have to put the computer in self-test. To do that, you press self-test, enter. Find out the speed the operator typically sprays at. For this situation, we're going 3.5. So press 3.5, enter. And now your boom should operate. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the pressure on each, on each boom. Uh, we're going to compare this pressure to the pressure we're showing on their gauge. Most importantly, it's important that the pressures across each boom are the same. Not so much that the pressure on the gauge is the same, but we do want it to be within a couple pounds. We're just going to take the nozzle off the turret, place the nozzle at the bottom of the gauge, then we're going to put the gauge itself onto the turret, spin until it locks in, and you'll have your pressure gauge set. Now we have the pressure gauge installed, we're going to go around, turn on the sprayer, and read the pressure. On our gauge, when we had the boom on, we were reading about 64 PSI, but our gauge on our sprayer was set for 66 PSI. Two pounds difference is very good. You know, we don't, we don't worry about that small of a difference. Now we would go through and check one more nozzle on each boom to make sure each boom was reading the same thing. Next, we're gonna move to the pattern check. For this, we're gonna take our board, place it underneath the boom, so that it's parallel to where all the water will be caught from the nozzles. When we lay it under here, we're only gonna, there's no set amount of time to run the boom. We only have to run it long enough to get enough water into the pattern check to see the actual pattern. After we've run the boom, you simply come up, pick the pattern check up so all the water drains down into the container, lean it up, and this will be your pattern. What we're showing here is some nozzles that are showing some signs of wear. This is normal wear that you're typically going to see through a normal spraying season. You have peaks and valleys in the pattern, which what has happened is the nozzle is worn so the spray angle has decreased, thus giving you more water underneath the nozzle and less water in the middle between two nozzles. This, this wear right here is pretty extensive, but when this is being filmed, we're three quarters of the way through a spraying season. With new nozzles, you would see a perfect pattern where all the balls would be floating even. Now, we would do the pattern check underneath each boom trying to run the boom for approximately the same amount of time as we did on the first one to show how even the pattern wear should be. Now we're going to get rid of this pattern check. We're going to move on to the bucket test. For the bucket check, we're going to need a stopwatch and our bucket to collect the water. For the bucket check, we're going to collect underneath each nozzle for 15 seconds. It's important that we turn the nozzle on prior to putting the bucket underneath. Here we caught 26 ounces of water. This comes out to be approximately eight tenths of a gallon per minute. And when you plug that in, that comes out to be 68 gallons per acre. The computer was set at 66 gallons per acre, so we're extremely close. So this checks out very good. 
After you've calculated your gallons per minute, this is the equation you'll use to calculate your gallons per acre. The final thing we're going to do is the water sensitive paper test, also known as litmus paper. With this, we're going to lay these two pieces of paper on the ground underneath both the outside booms. We're going to run the sprayer over the, over the paper at the speed which they typically spray at. This is going to show us their coverage relative to their flow rates and their nozzle selection. Now we're going to set the pieces of paper up, lining them with the two outside booms. So we're going to put one here and one out here. making sure the sprayer has enough time to get up to the speed which it normally travels at. Now we're going to take a look at the coverage. The paper that once was yellow has now turned blue after the water's hit it. The little yellow specks is where you did not have any water droplets hit. The darkest blue is where you have your water droplets. With areas that small that are yellow, this is excellent coverage. This is a very important service to our superintendents and it also brings value to what we do here at Syngenta. If you have any more questions, please consult your sales representative. 